Have you ever heard a report about a mission trip and couldn't believe it? The numbers were just staggering. Well, that's how I felt year after year, hearing about the hundreds of people being saved in Uganda during a short-term mission trip, until now. After going on this E3 Partners trip and being a part of the work of God to multiply disciples, now I know that these results are more than legitimate. This year's trip in 2024 was focused on the northern part of Uganda in a city called Lira. We were assigned to four different existing churches with the task of mobilizing and training them in 2 Timothy 2, 2 methods, where they could learn how to multiply themselves and with God's help start house churches immediately. I know it seems too good to be true, but with the right conditions and soil to plant those seeds in, you can expect consistent results. We worshiped with the churches on Sunday and enjoyed a grassroots, natural, and fun worship without instruments. The rhythm and spirit they sang with was contagious. The next day, we began training bright and early at 8.30 a.m. We explained the vision and methods we intended to use this during the week, and we started into the material. After lunch, we split into smaller teams and took nothing with us but a prayer and a desire to see the lost found and saved. The churches saw immediate results, and many had appointments the next day to meet again with those who received the message and the messenger. These were our houses of peace. As the week went on, the teams were able to use the skills in their outreach, and they were able to teach back to us what they had learned. We kept track of those who trusted in Jesus and those we could try to start house churches with. The local church there was beginning to see how they could be responsible for the lost souls around them. God was multiplying the work 100 times the amount we put into it. It really is amazing to be a witness to these things. Here are the results of the five days of training and outreach. In total, 97 Ugandans were trained. 656 heard the gospel, 189 salvations, 19 new home churches were started, and we had 81 baptisms. This was through the Training for Trainers Discipleship at four different locations in northern Uganda. Part of the team will be remaining in Uganda for three months to visit and encourage and retrain their leaders that are overseeing home churches all throughout Uganda. Carmen and Ben Bennett will remain in Uganda for two more weeks doing community transformation work and training and doctrine in two different locations. Thank you for continuing to pray for those on our team and continue to pray for Uganda and the work that God has done there. Pray that the seed will grow, the church will multiply, and God's kingdom will come to earth. Thank you. Are you interested in going to Uganda or to other locations to make disciples for Christ? Please contact FBCSA's mission office and let us know where God is calling you to go. If you do wish to go to Uganda to do a similar trip as we have done, it is not on our books, but they are planning another trip homes. in the fall of 2024. Open up to the gospel, Lord Jesus. We also Lord, have we other trips to many other locations, and we are hoping to implement these same Second Timothy 2, 2 methods in those places. We don't just want to win hearts for Christ. We want to make disciples that can also make disciples. We want to see the church grow and be confident to teach, confident to learn and share the Word of God with all of those people around them. Um, would you be willing? Would you be willing to go?